Oh. Alright, Josh, so installment number three. Uh, hopefully, you got the clip, got the idea of how to clean up the clean, literally, and uh, stop from banging up your wrists with the kettlebells uh, going into the rack position. So, give you a couple of quick ideas here uh, with the two bells you've got. It was a cycle that I used to run that I liked and it was more of a full body conditioning set and my opinions have changed on full body conditioning but uh, I still see some value in some of the movements. So test, assess, move, that's the model. Uh, but give this a shot and obviously I'm really only going to demonstrate one side so there's that. Uh, but two bells the way you've got, uh, I think you can run these pretty quick and uh, have a good bit of fun with it. So again, I'm going to use the size bells that you've got, which are about this. These are 8 kilos, you've got 15 pounds. The difference is about 3 pounds. Uh, for push-up portion of this, I'll show you a variation that I like. And I want you to test each one individually. So, get my inferred baseline range of motion. That's me. And I'm going to test my push-up and then reassess. That actually tests pretty well today. So, the push-up variation that I'm going to show you, um, it's kind of a break ball. I start out, so you can actually see me, so, there we go, so this should go in frame, so if I start out with my palm flat, my thumb facing in, right, my palm is flat on the ground, I'm going to roll to the pinky side, you go to my elbow, then down, my palm is now up, and I'm in touch, from here I'm going to roll back up by rolling back to the pinky side, Back up, back down, back up, back down, back up. So it's as though I'm break falling and rolling. And then rolling back up to the position. Uh, that's going to look like this. So if I'm here, as I roll down, touch, and then roll back up. So I roll. down and I roll up. So I'm turning my palm up towards my chest, flat against, and then rolling back out by going onto my forearm, scoop that up onto my palm, palm flat, thumb in. That is the push-up portion. There is also uh, squat. So heels flat, ball of foot. These are the two variations I want you to try. So I'm going to test. Try heels flat. Test. Not bad. Ball of foot. Actually get a little better reaction ball of foot. So I've got my push up, my ball of foot squat. okay with that. I would actually prefer for your uh, purposes that you focus more on speed and quality of movement rather than a heavier load uh, at this juncture. Later on you can worry about the speed. Uh, so if I'm hitting ball of foot squats with the bells, touch, back up, touch, back up. Something to make it easier. Point the toes out 45 degrees, keep the heels together heels together so that as you drop in, you stay nice and vertical, upright, zipped up, keep the bells to the outsides, knees popping out, old school, ball of foot squat, right? Retest. 
All right, not that. So I've got a push, I've got a squat, and I've got a pull from the floor. Here's the pull from the floor. If I have the bells arranged in such a way that I can A, either balance by locking out on the bell handles, feet are going to be fairly wide, wider than shoulders, pull one to the hip, pull the other to the hip, all the foot squat, push up, roll through again, all the foot squat up, drop down, heels back, row, row, push up, all the foot squat, so slowly so you can see it's smooth, all the foot, heels back, row, row, push up, back, through again, all the foot squat, heels back, row, row, push up, back to the center, back up, back down, heels, row, row, center, when your speed reduces, stop. Take a break. If you're breathing heavy, stop. Take a break. If you're using more tension than is absolutely necessary to make it happen, stop. Take a break. It's pretty simple. Uh, people can argue with me on this all they want. I'm okay with that. I accept it. So, play with that. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. Cheers.